How's it going gamers, this is RebelX here in the War Room, and today we're looking at Dragon Age Inquisition. Gameplay Tips and Tricks Part 4. This is where I'm going to show you guys three locations within the world of Dragon Age that are definitely worth your time in exploring to find rare gear and different monsters to fight. So let's look into that right here, right now. Alright gamers, so the first location I want to talk to you guys about is the Hissing Waste. Now this is an area you will find by doing an operation within this section of the map. You, I recommend you bring your most powerful characters along when you're entering this plane. This is a level 18 or higher area I recommend for you to use. This is a desert wasteland. It's one of the largest areas within Dragon Age you're going to find. It's beautiful at night. It's a very wide open desert location. It's home to some of the most dangerous creatures you will find in Dragon Age, such as weavers. There's, these are these lizard creatures that will tear you and your team to shreds if you're not careful. Think Komodo dragons when you're fighting these guys. Along with some of the most powerful rifts in the game you will find here, the rifts will contain pride demons, rage demons, terror demons, all of whom will attack you at once if you and your party are not well equipped, along with the fact that there's even a dragon hidden away within the desert if you know the right areas to look and how to take this dragon down. But most importantly, what makes this place special are Dwarven Ruins. There's at least five to six locations of very uh, rare items located within these ruins. Now, in order to get to these rare items, you need to solve a bit of puzzles, but before you do, you can find treasure maps that can help lead you towards these ruins. Each time you enter a ruin, it will give you a map leading to another ruined temple. Once you solve these puzzles, however, you will be given rare items such as upgrades for weapons, to rare power rings, rare swords, very rare armor, even uh, building blocks to build rare armor once you find these locations. Now, the thing that, like I said before, is that you need to solve puzzles. If you do not solve these puzzles correctly, you will constantly be harassed by demons if you are not careful, which is why you need very high-powered characters before doing this. But this area is excellent when you want to find rare gear, a lot of money, and also want to level your characters up. There's enough enemies around this area that will constantly respawn like demons that will constantly give your characters enough power to level up. Alright, now the next area I want to talk about is the Emerald Groves. Now the Emerald Groves is home to a lot of forest type creatures such as giant bears, to giant spiders, to even a dragon that lurks in this area as well. To also too is that you will find Templars with red lyrium attached to themselves, making them even more dangerous than before. But what makes this place also very special is Elven Ruins. You will find a camp as well for rebel groups that will offer you rare uh, items also too, but as I said, you will find elven ruins in this area that will give you very powerful items such as swords, very powerful rings, to temples. Keep in mind is that these areas are not that easy to find because you're in a forest and are heavily guarded. I recommend you enter this area when you're a level 17 or higher character, but when you go out of your way to find these areas, you will be, off, you'll be given a lot of very powerful items, but like I said, be aware, you need to be at a high level to take on these tasks. The monsters that guard these areas are extremely powerful, so be on the lookout. Alright gamers, so the next area you're going to be finding here is the Exile Plains, which is another operation that you can unlock. This is a worn, torn area. There are two armies clashing here, fighting amongst each other, and at the same time, there's also an undead army coming around, so you're going to have to light a lot of burial sites on fire in order to keep the dead from rising. You're going to be fighting a lot of dark arcane wizards that can raise the dead around them, along with being very powerful enemies as well. You'll be fighting arcane wolves that will hunt in packs, trying to tear you to shreds, along with the fact that the rifts in this area are very powerful as well. Some of the most powerful you will find also in Dragon Age. Along with the fact that there's even packs of weavers. These are these lizard creatures I said earlier. They hunt in packs on this map. Along with the fact that you have those two armies you have to worry about, human armies that are battling each other out. Oh, and also there's a dragon flying around here as well. So this area has a little bit of everything, but what's cool about this area is that this is a area where you're gonna find a lot of burial sites, rare items, you'll also find a clan of Dalish elves trying to, you know, try to survive this whole conflict, along with beautiful vistas and a worn, torn valley as well. You'll find a lot of rare items, but also too is that the rifts in this area are very powerful. But the best thing about this place is that because there are a lot of Dalish in the area, there are Dalish ruins that can give you very powerful items. You have to solve puzzles though in order to get to these items. These items can range between power rings to power amulets, you name it. The Dalish temples have those here. They're burial sites, they're heavily guarded by enemies, but once you can battle your way through, you'll get a lot of rare items along for the journey. Alright gamers, that's all the time we have for today for our quick look at three area locations that are definitely worth your time that hold some of those powerful items, get easy money, and upgrade your characters the fastest way as you possibly can. This is I highly recommend you visit these areas before you reach the final verdict of this game, which we'll do one more gameplay tips and tricks for you guys. Until then, like, share, and subscribe to The War Room, and we'll see you guys next time.